G'day everyone, welcome to another video about a frontline trooper. My name is Andrew Cook. And of course, by the title you can tell already that this video is about the Halo 4 Bolt Shot. So for those of you who don't know what the Halo 4 Bolt Shot is, well where the hell have you been the past week? Obviously not playing Halo 4. So here it is here, the design straight from 343's final renders that I used in the game. It's pretty much a foreigner new design that incorporates the benefits of a pistol, so semi-automatic fire, as well as a charged shot, not the reason bolt shot, but enough talking about that. So if you don't know who I am, well I've done a few Halo 4 guns prior to this one, so I've been able to build up my skill level, because these foreigner weapons are very hard to do, as they have a multitude of levels that I have to get into the foam, but I'll talk about what foam I use, and what guns I've done now. So of course, basic ARs, battle rifle, the rail gun, the light rifle, the suppressor, and of course now, the Halo 4 4 and a bolt shot. So I decided with this gun I really wanted to bring it down to a basic look. Um, something sim simple, has a nice amount of design in it, multitude of levels, much like every other 4 and a gun, which is a bitch to make. Um, but it's just a nice little minuscule kind of intricate little design. So to do this I had to go back to the UNSC design, such as the familiar ODST um, suppressed pistol. Which, of course, in ODST, um, which has a which has a really nice size to it. So I had to kind of bring across what would this, if it was a human-sized pistol, look like with us. So I had to get the hand grip and then kind of just build it out from there. But as you can see, they're pretty much similar sizes and they're very different in design. Now, what have I made this out of? Well, I made this out of styrofoam. Styrofoam being this material here. It's just foam board. Um, it's very styrofoam being this material here. It's basic foam. It's, it's, I make it out of this material. Thick. It's got no bubbles, no um, yeah, balls. Styrofoam being this stuff here. It's a basic foam board. It's fully um, thick. It's not made of polystyrene balls, so you can carve perfection out of this thing. You won't get any um, rough lines as long as you're using a very sharp blade. Always change a blade when it sees to kind of rip at the material because then you're going to get some deformities in your gun, which you don't want. But this stuff is cheap. This big 1.5 meter board. Uh, it only cost me about $15. And that's 15 New Zealand dollars, so it's probably only about 12 American. And compared to the sizes, if this whole ball costs $12, then that gun really only costs about 4 And you could get a lot out of that, couldn't you? When people ask what kind of tools do I use, do I use a Dremel, do I use a CNC cutter, which would be nice, but I can't really afford it, and my whole goal is here. That my whole goal is here, and my whole goal is here on YouTube is to teach you guys how to make these things for uh, pocket money prices. Like I said, that SMG only costs about four dollars. Plus these little blades, these only cost about a dollar. They come in little packets. You can purchase them up from dairies, hardware stores, and pretty much something magnificent like this Halo Reach assault rifle can only cost you about ten dollars to really make. The only uh, pricey part is the paint and how you decide to do the final finish. But it's very cheap. If you really wanted to make this, you can check out the blueprints up on my Facebook fan page, as these ones you can see here. It's all been equipped with the dimensions, the right sizes, they're all in millimeters, as that's what my country here in New Zealand works with. I'm not American. Um, so you guys will have to kind of pull it across into your own um, dimensions that you guys use there for your metric system, such as inches or centimeters, but that's up to you guys there. Just chuck into Google, ask, and you'll find out. So like I said, this gun was made of styrofoam, as you can see these basic stages here when I was going through the progress of cutting it. Um, unfortunately these foreigner weapons, they're incredibly difficult to make out of foam because you've got a multitude of levels um, and intricacy that you really need to pull across into these guns and um, you really have to think about what you're doing before you actually do them. Otherwise, half the side's going to be off and then the other half's going to be off. And because these guns are symmetrical and you can't see both sides at once, it's a, quite a hard skill to master. As with any skill, practice does make perfect. Not that I'm saying I'm perfect, I still got a long way to go. So if you want to learn how to make this yourself, Jeff Denton. So if you want to learn how to make this yourself, good luck. That's all I'm going to say, good luck. Um, you can definitely go check out my Facebook fan page. And that's one thing, if you're here for the first time, I do not sell anything. Everything I do is purely an art form. Um, I love doing it as a hobby. I don't do this like every single day. I've got a full-time university thing, I've got a job. I have a whole bunch of other stuff that I do, hang with friends. This is really only a thing I come down and sit for an hour if it's a rainy day and just relax. Have a nice beer, a glass of wine, and just carve some foam, hey, as you do. 
But yeah, if you want to check out some of my other videos, definitely go check it out. Like you, I showed you before, the battle rifles, the assault rifles, and show a battle rifle. I showed you an assault rifle, railgun, whatever. Um, you can go check those out. I've got full videos like this for them, as well as a multitude of Halo 4 guns on route. On route that doesn't make sense. On the way, that's uh, better. And you don't want to miss those. So definitely go check out my channel, subscribe, go to my Facebook fan page, which you find in the link description below my waist. I said that again. Below my waist, it is kind of, it's about here. I'm not talking about my... <clears throat> I'm going to move on. But, that's it. I hope you had a fun time watching this video. I, if you really do like this gun, please help me out by liking this video. Don't dislike it. <laughs> no, you can if you want. Honestly, I need to know that you guys don't like this, but I think I've done a nice enough job to avoid being disliked, but please like the video, and remember we can achieve epicness with very little cost. Have a good day, guys.